Hello and welcome to this AE Basics tutorial where we'll be looking at the issue of motion paths. Now we've seen a motion path before with this animation so let's just hit the car and hit P for position. With our current time indicator at the beginning hit the stopwatch for position and then hit the end key on our keyboard to go to the end of our timeline and drag the man across. Hold the shift key if you want to constrain him and let go and you can see up here on the screen a motion path has been created. We've got the square keyframe for the first keyframe here, which we can physically click on and drag and move if we want to. We've got the last keyframe here in the middle of the man, which represents this keyframe down here. These individual little dots represent the interpolated or tweened keyframes that After Effects have worked out from the beginning and the end to create a smooth animation. And these dots here, these big dots, represent handles to change the motion path. So if I click and drag these handles and then hit my spacebar, you'll see that the man follows the path. So we are creating the motion path and we are also modifying the motion path with the handles. And there are a number of ways that we can modify this motion path. Incidentally, if these squares and these dots aren't big enough for you and you want to be able to see or change the size of them, they can be changed in your preferences. So on a Mac, you go to the After Effects menu, Preferences General. And on a PC, it's Edit Preferences General. And you'll see that the second item down says path point size. And just for exaggeration, just to show you the point, I'm going to make these 15, which is far too big. Make them 15 and click OK. And suddenly you see that the squares are huge squares, the circles are huge circles, but they're very easy to grab and move around. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the man go down and up a hill. So down a hill and up a hill. And I can do that in another composition I created called Motion Path. Open that up and I've got him at the moment he's going on a flat, I'm going to turn that down I'm going to take it to the hill, so click on hill gives me a hill, and I go back to my car comp, and there's my car on the hill so let's see if we can't make this man go down and up the hill by moving these keyframes around and adjusting the handles, so I can grab hold of this keyframe and take it up to the top and this keyframe to the beginning about there, and then I can grab the handles and start to see if I can't create a better motion path you can pull the handles out to change the way that the angle of the path is moving, as you can see. So I want to pull this down and see if I can't get it moving in about the right place. And you'll see that although I can get kind of close, I can't really get to the point where it's very easy to make this man go up and down the hill with one keyframe. It's, it's possible, but he's not really going to hit the bottom properly with this approach. We can play with it. it might just get there, possibly but we've had to really exaggerate the movements or the working of this keyframe to achieve it. Let's just hit the spacebar and see what it's like. It kind of works, but really it would have been much easier if at this point we'd have added another keyframe so that he was going down and going over this point and then down because this isn't a straight dip. It actually has this, this lump area here. So how do we create extra keyframes? Well, very simply we could if we wanted take the pen tool and then click anywhere on this motion path and create another keyframe. Now you can see the motion path instantly because I have the word position selected. If I click away, the motion path disappears. Click back on the layer or click back on the word position and you get hold of your handles and that's where you can see all of these. So I could just click and create another keyframe. Let's just click for example. So if I click there, another keyframe is created. However, the easiest way of doing it is to stay with your selection tool. So that's V or just click on the arrow here. And then when you get to the point where there's a problem, just grab your asset, whatever it is, and physically drag it up to the right place or drag it down to the right place. And that instantly creates a keyframe on your timeline because your stopwatch has been clicked, because it's ready for animation. When you change a value, a new keyframe is created. And that comes with handles, and you can start playing with the handles, start moving things around to try and get a better look to see if we can't make this a lot better overall might get a slightly better look so let's just hit the space bar now that's pretty much following the slope but you can see that there's quite a problem 
The car is okay at the beginning, but the car is not following the path in the sense of its direction. At this point, it should be facing up the hill. Now, what we could do is animate the rotation of the car and make sure that it rotates and follows the path, but there's a much simpler way of doing this. After Effects has given us the option to be able to orient the car along the path or any item along its motion path so it follows the motion path not just generally but specifically along the path. Where can I find this particular tool? Well you can either find it in the layer menu so layer, transform and at the bottom auto orient or alternatively you can simply right click on the item that you're trying to orient and then find transform auto orient. Either way you'll come up with the same dialog box leave it off as it is at the moment or orient it along the path and we want to orient it along the path so let's click that click OK and you can see instantly the car is lining up with the path now if your item doesn't line up with the path properly you select the layer and hit R for rotation and then you can adjust it and it'll follow along accordingly as to wherever you finish it you don't need to keyframe rotation you are just setting rotation to make sure it is actually following the path exactly how you want it to follow. So if it hasn't actually aligned properly, hit R for rotation, don't keyframe it, but do move it and it will follow along at that angle all the way through. So if I go home on my keyboard to the beginning and hit the space bar, you can see the little car is following the path along, I think I've overdone the rotation, and go all the way through. Now I personally wouldn't have done it that way, but it was more for demonstration. What I probably would have done, and I'm going to go back to home, to beginning and start again so select P for position turn off my stopwatch and let's also reset R for rotation so R for rotation right click on that reset it then I'm going to go back to P for position stopwatch go to the end of my timeline so hit end on my keyboard pull him across the end position and then go to roughly where there's going to be a problem which is about there and simply pull him down and then adjust the keyframes accordingly to get the end result you want. So this is the sort of approach that I probably would have taken. However, can you see that I can pull him down nicely here, but he's going in a lump here. How do I make him go pretty much straight here, but go down here whilst these handles are joined together? Well, you can unlock these handles by holding the Alt key on a PC and the Option key on a Mac. Hold that and grab hold of the handles and you see that they break. You're breaking the link between the two of them. And the end result is you're going to have something that can follow along. Now auto orient is obviously turned off on this particular one. So I can select the layer, right click, transform, auto orient, orient along path, click OK. And now that's a sort of approach. It's going to be a slight break there because of the handle. And obviously you'd fiddle around with the path quite a bit to do it. Now, just because I've done it this way doesn't mean that there aren't other options. There is actually an automated option for creating motion paths, and I'll demonstrate that in the next tutorial. Mm -hmm.